I would like to acknowledge uh, Director Edward Parucha, PSIS National President, his team, other key officials and members of the PSIS International and Asia Pacific Security Association. Ladies and gentlemen, a uh, very good afternoon to everyone. I would like to thank the Philippine Society for Industrial Security International and the Asia Pacific Security Association for gracious invitation to me as resource speaker in your first Security Management International Virtual Summit today. I feel so honored to be in the company of distinguished officers and members of the two renowned international security organizations operating in the Philippines. I understand that uh, this virtual summit will be attended by an esti estimated uh, 300 security practitioners from all over the world, including your partners from Filipino-American Law Enforcement Organization and Asia-Pacific Security Association International. As one of the resource speaker for this event today with with the theme, the Philippine Industrial Security, Navigating Through the Global Pandemic. I understand that I am given the choice of any topic to discuss, not totally on international security matters, but on the other interesting topic that has something to do with our efforts in navigating through the global pandemic, which we are all undertaking. As Undersecretary of the Trade Promotion Group and Special Concern of the Department of Trade and Industry, I will be discussing with you this afternoon the topic on business opportunities to consider in the Philippines. Instead of security matters, particularly during this time of global economic slowdown due to the pandemic to provide information and guidance to those who are interested to engage in business in the Philippines. As the coronavirus pandemic escalates and disruption to the business as usual continue, business managers are grappling with uncertainties. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly disrupted all industries, including even the real estate industry, accelerating digital transformation and prompting a host of new operational standards. Closures and restrictions have had uh, and continue to have an immediate impact on most sectors. While these setbacks have lingered longer than many anticipated, they are short-term in nature. Longer-term trends are now emerging, including increased flexibility and migration which are said to have a lasting effect on where we live, work and learn. Despite the economic downturn brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused bankruptcies and unemployment to many businesses, many people are looking for alternative ways of finding income and revenues. And let me ask you, therefore, are you looking for business opportunities in the Philippines with a small capital? The future is bright for entrepreneurs should they want to start any of the top business opportunities that I will be discussing with you this afternoon. The status of the local economy has never been better and is headed to be among the largest in Asia and in the world. You don't have to earn a degree in business or become a well-educated educated investor to jumpstart these opportunities. If a common Filipino individual is able to find success in these business opportunities, so can you. So for your information, here are uh, some of the top 10 business opportunities to consider in the Philippines. First is the online business. Online business signing in your social media pages will take you to a variety of posts that offer online business opportunities. In this nation, 
online and home-based business opportunities are among the most lucrative. Number two, the medium and small business. The top industry are the business services, food and restaurant, health and fitness, general retail, and home services. And third would be the franchising. This franchising refers to a contract between the two parties, the company and the individual, given the rights and the privileges to promote products under the trademark of business. You can earn in these types of business, especially if you have invested in the Philippines with a projected return of at around 15%. However, it will depend on how, how much you will invest also. Number four, Four is the classic sundry or the sari-sari store. Um, sari-sari store is the term used by Filipinos to refer to a neighborhood shop that sells everything you need from kitchen ingredients, hygiene products, biscuits and chips, cigarettes and spirits, and more. All of this without traveling outside their uh, neighborhood. And fifth would be the fourth food cart business and it does not have to be named after a huge company aside from franchising business among the new business opportunity in the Philippines would be the food cart business a both can sell maybe dumplings uh, burgers fries coffee snacks and even full meal and other food on sticks and it is a good strategy since they are more affordable compared to the visiting fast food chains or ordering from a casual dining restaurant. Uh, number six is insurance. And of course, if you want to work for a multinational, but at the same time, do business at your own pace and time or independ independently, you can find opportunity selling uh, life insurance maybe. And number seven is the thrift shop. Uh, thrift shops or these uh, stalls that sell second-hand goods, including dresses, shoes, and bags, are the ghost stores of Filipinos who want to save money on these items. Number eight is the uh, rice retail uh, shop, being a staple food and a primary source of income among Filipinos. Rice is the most consumed food in the country. Business people will think of having this as the product of their ventures. Starting a rice retail store requires a capital of around maybe less than 100,000 pesos. Plus, entrepreneurs should also be able to secure a permit and registration documents from the National Food Authority. Uh, it has offices in the capital city, Manila, and in the provinces. Uh, number nine, this is also very famous, the Airbnb rental. Property rental application like Airbnb, which started in 2008, uh, took the world by storm and since then have been well loved by tourists and travelers, uh, their prime markets. In the Philippines, local business-minded individuals have tried posting their properties and real estate units on Airbnb and offering them to the general public. This sources out from the massive um, real estate market that the country has, with several of its people purchasing properties and more buildings being constructed even until today. And number 10 would be pawn shop. Pawn shops are companies and establishments that offer collateral-based loans or those that are secured by something of value. It is where many Filipinos head to if they need emergency funds. Uh, for my discussion this afternoon, I would like to focus on item number two uh, of uh, business opportunity, which is the medium and small business which the Department of Trade and Industry is promoting. To be successful in this business, the DTI has identified strategies and 
to sum it up as the seven M's for MSME development for enabling and fostering the country's micro, small, and medium enterprise. The MSME seven M's are uh, like number one, the, the mindset change. Uh, this is very important, the mind, mindset change. And number two would be the mastery, uh, mentoring, money, machine, and uh, market access. And of course, uh, last one is the models of uh, business. This is a framework which were introduced and supported during the ASEAN Economic Community in 2018. MSMEs shall be assisted to develop a positive mindset, to gain mastery of their business, to provide quality business mentorship, to facilitate access to money, to improve access to domestic and international markets, and to provide quality machines and to be exposed to innovative models of uh, business. I think that wraps up my presentation for this afternoon. I hope that in my own simple ways I was able to share with you valuable and relevant information on the topic assigned to me. Again, I would like to thank Director Parucha and the officers and members of the PSIS and APSA for giving me this opportunity to be part of your first Security Management International Virtual Summit. Thank you and wishing you more success in your advocacy of professionalizing the security industry. Maraming maraming salamat po and mabuhay po kayo.